You'll have to forgive the sacrifice in quality here. Towards the end of the semester, the dot cam decided to give up. So I'm recording this with a webcam. The third problem we're given in chapter nine is a bulb problem, which is a pretty common way to assess the ideal gas law. You want to check out the slide in your notes to get an image of what we're looking at, right? Better than the rough sketch over here. It appears around slide 54. Effectively, what we have is one bulb with helium, one bulb with argon separated by a valve. And we're asked to calculate the total pressure after mixing the two. We're given two volumes, three liters for helium, two liters for argon. I'm good with that unit for volume but I'm given pressures in millimeters of mercury, 145 for helium, 355 for argon. So I went ahead and converted those to atmospheres. You should be comfortable by now in chapter nine with the fact that those have to be in atmospheres. Right? You get that by dividing by 760. So I get a pressure of 0.191 atmospheres for helium, 0.467 for argon. And then I can use the modified ideal gas law to find their pressure individually after mixing. And that modified ideal gas law, right, is P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. And the first thing you should be thinking is, well, I wasn't given any information about the temperature. And if you're not, the nice little trick that you can do in chapter nine is assume any temperature that you want, okay? Because the temperature is constant. You can use any number and get the same answer at the end of the problem. But the easiest thing to do, right, is assume that the temperature is equal to one Kelvin. Cold, right, but that's fine, because if it's a constant one, then those T's drop out, right, because anything divided by one is itself. So I'm left with just P1V1 equals P2V2. So now for helium, I, I had an initial pressure of 0.191 atmospheres and an initial volume of three liters. I'm solving for the pressure after it's mixed, right? So that's P2. What's the new volume for helium after mixing? Well, it's the total volume of the container after I open that, right? So three liters plus two liters is five liters. So I take 0 0.191 times 3, divide it by 5, yeah, and I get a new pressure for helium of 0 0.115 atmospheres equals P2 for helium. I'm going to do the same thing over here for argon. 0.467 atmospheres times two liters equals P2 times five liters. 0.467 times two is 0.934 divided by five. I get a new pressure for argon of 0 0.187 atmospheres. So now I've got my new pressures for these two. And notice they've both gone down which makes sense because I've increased the volume. Now I can use Dalton's law, P total equals P helium plus P argon. So my PT, P total is equal to 0.115 atmospheres plus 0.187 atmosphere. My total pressure, is equal to 0 0.302 atmospheres. Notice the answer is never just combining the two original pressures. Right? That's not good enough because while we have those initial pressures to start, we're also increasing the volume. Okay? So your final answer is typically somewhere between those two. Okay. The final answer to this one is 0 0.302 atmosphere, and I will upload a scan of this page so you can see how that was done.